guys, it's Jordan, and today I'm here with a collective mall haul. Well, kind of the mall. I just went shopping and thought I would share what I got with you guys. Um, I have a lot, so let's just dive right in. Okay, so one of the first places I went to was PetSmart, and I had to get my dog some food, so I got this cute little chicken toy. He loves it already. I gave it to him right when I got home. And then I got a big bag of his beagle food. It is Royal Canin brand um, adult beagle. It's shaped like stars so that he doesn't just scarf it down and he actually chews his food. And then we went to the mall and I got a bunch of stuff from Bath and Body Works. They were having their what is called semi-annual sale and they were having their semi-annual sale and I just, you know, had to get some things. I've already used some of this stuff because I'm filming the video kind of like a couple days afterwards. Kinda. <laughs> but, um, one of the first things I got was a three wick candle. It was half off, so 12 or like $11. It smells so good. It is watermelon lemonade. And yeah, you can see I already used it. Comes with this cute little. Kind of looks like a mason jar to me. But I got a candle. I got another little candle. This one is Sweet Maui Mango. All the Bath and Body Works stuff kind of ends up smelling the same to me after a while. So that one smells good too. Then I saw this uh, hand cream. Nourishing hand cream. It's Black Cherry Merlot. Black Cherry Merlot. And it... It smells really good. It smells like cherries. Mmm. Straight up cherry. Then, I got their... This one, they said like limited edition. So I... Oh, and I'm missing one. I left one downstairs. Um, <laughs> I got the American Apple Scented Shower Gel and the American Apple Scented Hand Sanitizer. Look how cute this hand sanitizer is. Compared to like their like triangular shaped ones, but these were like limited edition scent, I think, yeah, for 4th of July. And then I left one downstairs in my room and it was a shower gel called Endless Weekend. It's blue and it's it's really good, I like that smell. And then I got Pearberry shower gel. Then I got Country Apple, this is a whole different scent because this one they're like discontinuing. This was like $3 for this spray. $3. And it smells like apples. Very spring and summer smelling. Um, and then yeah, just that blue shower gel is the other one I got. Oh, and then, I forgot. Bath and Body Works gave me a coupon for their sweet summer sale. Uh, free signature item with a $10 purchase. So you buy one thing that's $10 and you get something else free. So it's like buy one get one free. And that's up to 1250 So you could probably get like a shower gel or like a maybe maybe a half off candle if they're doing that that special um and it's good june 29th through august 2nd so if you guys have a bath and body works around you go and get this coupon go and buy this or i mean buy something so you get that coupon then i went to sephora and i got awesome goodies i have never spent so much money in sephora until now okay so i got these two samples of the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation. I got Light 44 and Light 45, and I tried them out, and Light 44 is my shade. It's the lightest you can go. I'm wearing it today, by the way, if you guys want to know. Then I got the Tarte Brazilians uh, Self Tanner. This is the Maracuja Oil Self Tanner, and I heard nothing but good things about this, and I'm so excited to try it because I am so pale. I can't wait to slather it all up on my body. And then I got a um, Kat Von D Locket Foundation. I got the full bottle because, again, 44 was my shade, so I decided just to buy the whole thing. Um, so far, I really like it. I think I've put a little too much on the past couple days, uh, but today I put a lighter layer on and it seemed to have worked out a lot better. So a little bit goes a long way, guys. I had 100 points, so I got a 100 point gift, and then it was my birthday last week, so I got my birthday gift. And for my birthday gift, I got the NARS Beauty what, Beauty Insider from Sephora. So they're the, just these two little 
lip pencil lipsticks. Um, looks like a mauve color. Ooh. And then a red color. I'll swatch these this way. Ooh. I'm excited for that red. So you guys can see that. Focus, I hope. And then for my 100 point gift, um, I was looking actually last night for some sunscreen on Sephora's website. And I, I mean, I, I wasn't really finding any without like trying them out. But then I heard that the Tarte, Tarte Guard, is very good. Um, so, trying it out. We're going to Waterworld like next week. So, I'm going to wear that on my face. See what that does. I went to Walmart yesterday and I needed. I went there for a beauty blender and I ended up getting a whole bunch of other stuff. So, I wanted to try out this Dove dry spray. This is the Clear Tone Skin Renew 48 Hour Anti Burst Spray. Um, it smells okay. It smells like deodorant, I guess. Then I got the Beauty Blender. I opened it already and used it, as you can see. Then I got an orange Beauty Blender. Orange is my favorite color, if you guys haven't noticed that already. Oops. Then I got two primers, and one is just the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I, I actually like the e.l.f. primers. Um, I haven't, I mean, I haven't really noticed anything bad about them with my skin or anything out of the ordinary. Um, I've also got the Maybelline Master Prime Face Face Studio Primer. Um, just the original one, I guess. There was like two other kinds. Then I got a packet of the Neutrogena Makeup Wipes. They come, they came in like a package package, but I put them in this cute little thing that it came with. It says Neutrogena right there. Um, I needed some makeup wipes so I can start wearing my makeup again. And, oh, and then from Walmart I also got two things for my hair. I went for like spray oil, like any kind of oil to put in my hair, but, and then I thought I was getting an oil, but these are like serums. But this one is called the Marvelous Oil from Garnier Fructis Deep Nourish 5 Action Hair Elixir. It's just this orange, and it says you can put it in pre-treatment, or pre-shampoo treatment, conditioner boost, blow dry accelerator, finish, oh, end finisher and overnight leave-in. And then the other thing I got was the Ends on the Mend Keratin Serum from Herbal Essence. This smells so good. It's, what is it? Oh, pomegranate essence. And it smells so fruity. Oh my god, I just want to smell right now. It smells like fruity lip gloss almost. <laughs> but it smells so good, I would so eat it if it was edible. Then, yeah, the last place I went was to Target and I got a swimsuit. Okay, that's what it looks like. It's got like a cross back and then the front hangs down. I really liked this top, the way it fit, and then I just wanted to find a pair of black bottoms, but the brand that I wanted from Target didn't have any, so I'm hoping that these ones fit okay. This is just another small black bottom. And that's it! I bought all that stuff. I spent a lot of money. Probably shouldn't have. Then I went to Starbucks and got a, what is it, a cafe vanilla frappuccino with an extra shot and five pumps of hazelnut. And I work at Starbucks, guys. I know how to make the drink. And I had an anxiety attack. I almost cussed this dude out for making my drink not like the way you're supposed to make it. He was dumping ice everywhere, dumping the pitcher everywhere, dumping everything everywhere. I didn't know what was in my drink. So I like kind of freaked out <laughs> and the guy who was filling up the cups or like the straws or something was like, is there something wrong? I was like, oh, I just feel like he's making my drink wrong, but it's okay. And then the guy like came at me and was like, wait, what's wrong? And my brother was <laughs> watching him like, he's going to spit in your drink, Jordan. And I just told him, I was like, I mean, I just like, I know how to make the drink and you are not making it like how I want you to make it. And I was like, trying not to freak out, trying not to like, yeah, freak out on this dude. And he, he was actually really polite and he was like, well, you know, how do you want me to make it? And I was like, okay, get the shot. Like, I told him how to make my drink and it, it's so bad because I hate those people. I hate those people who come to Starbucks and are like, make my drink this certain way. I hate people who are so picky and who freak out on me, but like, I know how a drink is supposed to be made. I know the routine, I know what you're supposed to do so that it comes out right. He was not doing that. He was not doing anything correct, anything in the right order. No. And, oh, it just, 
made me so just anxious and so like I don't know I could not I could not deal with this dude but my frappuccino ended up tasting really really good um I think I found my new favorite favorite drink I have now a lot of caffeine in my system with we ate a pretzel dog so I don't have that much food in me either but I hope you guys like this little haul and rant video um that's just what happened to me at the mall today so, hope you guys liked everything. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like haul videos, and I will do some more because I love shopping. Um, and I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow for my next video. Thanks, bye.